Every single unhealed emotion that has entered the child from the parent creates a codependent link between the parent and the child. Do you understand that? Like, there is a codependent link between the parent and the child for every unhealed emotion in the parent. The child will respond in a codependent way to the parent's unhealed emotion. So what that means then is if the parent gets rid of the codependence themselves, then the child, the link between them and the child in that particular codependence is, is broken straight away. But if the parent doesn't do it, then it's up to the child to break that link if they want to have a free life. And that becomes quite difficult and usually with a lot of opposition from their parents. So the key is as parents, if we're talking about parenting children, we want to actually be the ones who take all the steps to get rid of these emotions within us that create codependence to us by our children. Does that make sense? Like, you can see there's a link. If, if we draw it uh, from, a, from a person's point of view. So, AJ, maybe if we give an example of what a codependence emotion might be. Yeah. So, a definition of love. So, here, here's the parent. Uh, here's the child. This parent believes that love is service. Right? Let's say. Because that belief, that belief then enters the child, the child now believes love is service. And when I say service, it means doing everything for everyone else and nothing for myself. Right? So let's say what's happening is the parent lives a life where they do everything for everyone else all the time and they do very, very little for themselves. The child now has that same belief in them, that love is service, right? But it will often feel very, very hard on the child. The child will often also feel anger about that because it doesn't feel like a belief that suits them. But they feel impelled to have it because of the parent's emotion. So the parent's emotion is impressed upon the child. There's a link now between the two of them. This child is now going to feel that it needs to serve its parent in order to love it. Does that make sense? To receive love, yes, it has to first serve. Does that make sense? It has to first serve the parent in order to be loved by the parent. Now that's a codependent link. You follow me? Now it's great if the parent can break that. If the parent can actually let go of the emotion where they believe that love is that, what will happen is the child will automatically feel free to just give the parent things based on what it wants to give the parent rather than feeling that it has to. But if the parent doesn't do that, then the only way the child's going to deal with this emotion is to stop serving the parent. Now you imagine if the parent's used to being served by the child, and all of a sudden the child stops serving the parent, what does the parent go through? You don't love me anymore, you know, what's happened, what's happened to my children? You know, you get a lot of projections usually coming from the parent back to the child, so that, so that the child starts serving them again. So can you see how the parent's emotions are determining the linkages and this codependent link gets set up and, and if that codependent link it remains, the child is going to be affected the rest of its life with that link, no matter how old it is. It's going to be 50 and you might be 70 and it still will feel that it's going to serve you. And that's what love is. Does that make sense? The truth is that's not what love is. Love wouldn't project that at the child, but often we have these emotions unhealed within us as parents that make us believe it is that, which then cause the child to believe it. And if the child and the parent don't have interactions with each other, there are linkages that are still between the child and the parent. The reason why is the child is now feeling emotions of loss about the parent not being with them. Do you follow me? And so there are emotions still that are being built up in the child through that. Now, the parent who is with the child can help them deal with a lot of that emotionally and actually release it for good. But, but remember, your soul transmits emotion wherever it is in the world. So you might have a child right now with you and the parent, the, part, the ex partner, might be on the other side of the earth, but it still has an emotional linkage with the child. 
and the child is still feeling it to a lesser degree than the one that, that, that's right near it, obviously. And if you have a partner who's treating the child lovingly, obviously it'll be even to a lesser degree. But there is still a feeling that is going to be coming from the other person until the child breaks that link now. It's highly unlikely the ex-parent, the ex-parent I'd like to call them, because they're not acting like a parent, um, is going to break that linkage. So unfortunately they're forcing the child into breaking that linkage. And this is where the parent with them can help them break it to actually work through the issue emotionally. But we'll talk about some of that later.